Uh, All right, now, in, re in respect to punching the bag, the heavy bag is always good because it, bu it builds up strength. It builds up strength, it builds up power from, from the bone to the muscle structure here. So when you hit, you hit and also, also stamina, because it takes a lot, you know, the, the, the more you, the more you up, uh, exercise or, or the more you apply power from the bag, it builds up wind power because it teaches you the power where the power is coming from in terms of how it's how it's executed and how it's applied when it comes to power contact yeah. some people when they punch they, yeah. they kind of hold their breath and they punch with tension yeah. and that's why people that's why when people sometimes when people punch they tie out quick but when you learn in terms of the science, the uh, martial art method of punching, same thing, same thing with boxing. Boxing, when you punch, you breathe, <clears throat> you breathe, you breathe out. Now, a lot of times when people punch, when they punch the bag, you know, they punch and they scrape off the bag, and that, that what that does is throw away your energy, right? And it's, and it's really not focused on the body. In terms of our, in terms of the method in which we punch, in a martial art fashion, it's almost like feeling the structure that you you're punching. You really want you really want to have uh, an extreme impact on the area that you're striking. So some people may strike and bounce off. So what that does is the impact is temporary. So when you hit when you hit the body, okay, they feel it for that moment. But there, there, there's no impact because what you do is you, re, you release and you relieve the pain at that or the pressure that's applied from a punch or the effect that comes from a punch. And most, in, in terms of certain martial art methods, you know, you have, when you strike, you're striking through the opponent. Not only, if you, not only you're hitting the surface of the body, but you're punching through. Because this, because you want to create a sort of friction and shock to the body where it becomes traumatic. You want to create trauma. So when you when you strike, rather than scrape off, rather than bounce off, you apply the pressure where you you hit you hit to penetrate. From here, so if I'm hitting, so this this will simulate, you know, uh, the rib area, the stomach area, you know, the side, the chest area. So when I'm hitting, so when I'm hitting certain bone structure, what I'm doing is here. So I'm not bouncing off. I'm making sure that the power that the power that I'm executing is generated. Because I want generated force. I don't want force that's just uh, uh, limited to surface strikes, and then I bounce off. So when I hit, <coughs> now some so the some what I what I do exercise on the heavy bag is that to strengthen each part of my body, right side and left side equal. I might just strike right hand first. And then left hand. Some people like to go around. That takes time. There's a time fact. While you're going around, I'm coming, I'm building up straight power.
Got it? From one end area to the other. Yeah. 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 Remember what I did. Boom, boom, boom. Keep going. Don't let it swing around. Right. Now we hit with a with an angle. Yeah. Now, even even when you like when people do a hook punch, it's like, you know, boom, hit. Even without short. And the effect is hit, not just bounce off, but hit. <clears throat> When I do, if I do come around, again, I want to focus on oh, again. Hook, some people bounce off. Yeah. <clears throat> Always want to <clears throat> feel the impact. <clears throat> so when I hit, <clears throat> I want to, I want to lay it there and feel the area that I'm hitting and penetrate. Not just, just, not just stun it or bruise it. I want to penetrate. So most hip hook points from the body is, is aimed at the, the rib area or the kidney. Yeah. So I want to be able to <laughs> rupture that area. <clears throat> so even if I was coming hooking towards the face and I want to get the lining of the chin or the neck, <clears throat> hit and then I don't want to pull back too much because that's timing I want to be able to I want to be able to be effective from a sh from short distance here short punches here rather than have to draw back or cock so I so I should develop my power when I'm when I'm hitting these bags I want to develop my power from a short distance to a long distance <clears throat> Now you notice when I'm hitting, I'm always hitting in the same spot. I'm not all over. So if I hit, I want to the more I can overwhelm, overpower that same spot by hitting the same spot, the more impact I have when I'm crushing. <coughs> Target area. So Push. Don't bounce off, remember? Right. Right. Don't bounce off, right. Penetrate the area. Feel it. Feel the spot you're hitting. 
Strike and feel. Right, now when you strike, strike in that same area. Three or four strikes in the same area. Now don't don't let it, the bag collide till you punch the bag away from you. Keep that weight so you can develop that uh, power punch. So when it comes close to you, punch it away. Right. Don't bounce off. Remember, don't bounce off. Right. There you. Right. There you go. Right. Don't bounce off. There you go. Penetrate. Impact, dynamic striking, right, feel the punch. Now, push, no, keep, keep punching. Punch, punch the bag up, punch it up, punch it up. Keep punching it up, right? So you can, so the weight of the bag and the punching up, because the bag is leaning to you, you're punching it away, build up your punching power. Right, that's it, there you go. There you go, keep punching. Don't let it get next to you. Hook. Don't bounce off. Right. Okay. Especially when it comes to the knee area and, and the rib. Don't bounce off. Now turn turn your body more into the kick. So you can get that's it. Turn your body more into it. Kick with the instep. Instep in the shin. That's right. There you go. Now don't 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 like snap it. Turn 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 your all your hip into the into that's it. There you go. Turn all your hip into it. There you go. Don't snap. Thrust it. Right. Turn all your hip into it. Like you wanna you wanna swing past past the bag. You wanna swing past, you wanna kick past the bag. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the method, yes. Yes. Left side. Hip all the way into it. Turn your head. That's right. Hit it. Don't wait for it to come. Hit. Right. As it swings back, hit. Catch it. Again. Keep going. Turn your hip into it. Right. That's right. Turn it into it. There you go. Again. Turn your hip into it. Right. Turn your hip into it. Right. Turn your hip into it. Okay, now strike and kick. Good. Again. Good. Turn your hip into it. Turn your hip into it. Turn your hip into it. Okay, the other side. Turn your hip into it. 
That's it. There you go. That's the form. But combinate, combinate, keep it, keep it coordinated. Combinate. One, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. I know, I know. Don't worry. That's that's the good part of it. If it's difficult, that's good. Rhythm, rhythm. One, two, kick. That's it. Again. One, two, kick. Good. Turn, turn, turn your hip. Turn the leg towards the bag. Turn that instep and that right and the shin towards the bag. Right, that's better. Now whip your hip. Whip your hip into the kick. Whip your hip into it. That's it. That's right. Keep your balance. Go ahead. There you go. Punch. One, two, kick. One, two, kick. Good. All right.